Do we have your consent to proceed via Zoom this morning? Absolutely. Thank you, Your Honor. With the confirmation from Scott Peterson, now 51 years old, appearing over Zoom from the Mule Creek State Prison, new legal maneuvers from the L.A. Innocence Project are officially on the record. The defense was entitled to those at the time of trial. Mr. Peterson has been waiting 20 years. The nonprofit that carefully selects cases of defendants it believes are wrongly convicted wants the Stanislaus County District Attorney to turn over evidence the defense never saw during the murder trial. I don't think that the nature of the request is not a fishing expedition. They're very precise. They're very specific. And we believe that they are... Uh, probably very easily accessible. Specifically, the defense wants DNA testing on a bloodstained mattress found in a burned van in the Peterson's Modesto neighborhood. Their theory? Lacey Peterson's murder was connected to a series of home burglaries that she may have stumbled upon while walking her dog. They also want to test a hammer and work glove left behind in a burglary across the street, as well as a target bag and duct tape inside the bag discovered on the shoreline in the San Francisco Bay where a passerby found the remains of Lacey and her unborn son, Connor. If Lacey Peterson's DNA is on that mattress in that van that was torched, that is huge. Legal analyst Paula Canny has been following the Peterson case for two decades and says Peterson could end up getting a new trial. And I think that that kind of evidence is what the defense and the L.A. Innocence Project is trying to find, because if that's her DNA, it means Scott Peterson didn't kill her. So what happens next in the Scott Peterson case? Hearings have now been scheduled where lawyers will present their motions and arguments over whether or not DNA testing should take place. The judge, of course, will have the final ruling. Reporting from Redwood City, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Peterson is also expected to appear in court by Zoom for the upcoming hearings in April, May and July. Lacey Peterson's family was not in court today.